Universe, I'm Catriona Gray. I am so excited to be partnering up with Madame Tussauds for a very exciting Q&A with all of you. It was actually around this time that my wax figure with Madame Tussauds was meant to be revealed, but since things have taken a different turn, what better time to connect with all of you while staying safe at home? All of you have sent in great questions and we thought what an amazing opportunity to not just do an interview but to be interviewed by you. Hi everyone! Hi Christiana! Hi! <laughs> well thank you uh, first off for um, allowing this all to happen. I know that you guys sent in your questions. Thank you much so much for getting involved and for allowing me to hear from each of you. Um, I know that we're all staying home and staying safe and what a better time than to get to know you guys. Yes. Thank you for all of your support um, and also following along with my journey and supporting also me having a figure at Madame Tussauds which I'm super super excited about. <laughs> <laughs> we are so excited for this. I'm really yeah. And um, yeah, I really look forward to chatting with each of you. From Malaysia. From the Philippines. USA, Indonesia, I'm from Canada, greetings from Malaya, Brunei, Samadika, Thailand, Cambodia, Philippines, I'm from Australia, Bangkok, Thailand, from Singapore, and Mexico, so I'm so excited to get started. Hi, I'm Sleeve from Malaysia. Hi, Snowy. Um, what went through your mind when Madame Tussaud first approached you and which wax figure would you like to stand beside? Thank you! Um, I was really shocked actually because my earliest memory of Madame Tussaud, I was only 13 years old and I went to the London branch and I really admired being able to go up to all these like famous icons and legends in their field and have photos with them. So to think that I've grown up to have my own was kind of surreal. It was really crazy. I feel really honored to have it because I'm the third Filipino ever to have their wax figure. So that's really cool. And if I were to go to Madame Tussauds and be able to take a photo with anyone, I would have a photo with Lady Gaga. Thank you so much, Snowy. Thank you for being with us. Thanks. <laughs> my boy, my name is Dale from the Philippines. Uh, my question is, um, what part of your journey, being as a Miss Universe 2018, is your most favorite and memorable one, and why? My favorite would have to be the work that I did for Smile Train because it took me to small hospital in the Philippines and also to Brazil for the first time, and it's really around the aspect of being. A, a spokesperson that I enjoy the most as a Miss Universe. And I was able to meet not only the child patients who were undergoing cleft surgery, I also was able to speak to their family. And now I still work with them, so it was definitely one of my most favorite parts of my year as Miss oh. Universe. Thank yes. you! Thank you very much! Thank you! Thank you. Hi. I'm from uh, the Philippines. My question for you is, how will Madame Tussauds um, unveil your wax figure and uh, if it's allowed to invite members of the press and uh, where exactly the venue of unveiling and um, if it's in our beloved country like what they did to Pia's wax figure um, we hope to mm -hmm. launch her in Manila Philippines and then she will tour not only through Singapore but also Bangkok Thailand and also Hong Kong um, so she's going to be a well-traveled queen <laughs> Oh, well, I'll be launching my wax figure next year in year 2021. Thank you so much, Catriona. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am Jackie Heredia. Greetings, Catriona from USA. Hi. You look beautiful oh, that you're from the USA. So what time is it where you are? Currently, it's 1.03 a.m. Thank you so much for I'm, I'm committed. I'm so happy to meet you. So my question for you is, what really inspired you to want to be a part of the organizations you're currently a part of? I think it was just the platform that it gave because I was a volunteer before I was a beauty queen and I almost had that kind of that pondering thought of like I'm doing this much but surely I could do something more 
I never ever realized that there was such an engaging platform within pageantry that women who were empowered and had something to say were given the microphone to say something. And so that's what really called my name. That's why I was like, yes, this is what I want to do. And when I first experienced that, it was quite liberating for me because before that, I was working as a model. So like I was a familiar face that people were like, oh, you look familiar but I don't really know who you are. But then going to a beauty queen, people knew my name, knew what I stood for. And so once I experienced that, I didn't want to go back. And that's really the aspect that pulled me to the direction that found me where I am today. That's amazing. And honestly, that's just so inspiring for myself. I am actually a pageant girl. So I'm a current uh, title holder here for my city. Actually, my sash, I wanted to show you. I love that you were able to draw inspiration from my journey. I love being able to speak to women who experience that from pageantry. Thank you so much. Sending you love. Also, take care. <laughs> Hello, Furkans, Indonesia. I'm so happy to see you. My question is, do you have a diet so far? Uh, any tips can you drop about uh, secret body goals like you? Yes, well first off, I do want to address that we all have different body types because we're all unique. So some diets that work for some may not work for others. For me, um, I grew up with my mom always making food at home. So I became very used to making my own food. I also enjoy, because I grew up always in tropical country, just like in Indonesia, I always enjoy fresh fruits and fresh vegetables are always like eating when I'm hungry but knowing also when I'm full it's really about listening to your body I hope that's helpful okay see you I hope you hi guys I'm Jack Bryan from the Philippines I'm not sure if you already answered it but which one of the three iconic looks is your wax figure and is it your first choice as well? My wax figure will be done probably my most iconic look and that's the lava dress. Yes. It will be my coronation winning look complete with an identical ear cuff. Um, my designer actually put out the two identical gowns. Um, the Lava Gown original and the Madame Tussauds gown and they look really, really similar. So I'm really excited for you guys all to see it. Thank you, Jerry. So my name is Maxa Eliti Sulaiman. Greetings from Malaysia. This is my question. What are some encouraging words you would like to say to people to be more kinder and contented? For people to be more kinder, it's really we need to relate to our fellow human beings on a level that is really ground level. Because um, a lot of us, we, we either skim across them or just see their outer situation, how they appear when they're maybe at work or maybe they're out and about. But we don't really know the depth of what they go through at home, what their family life is like, who they are as a people on a deep level. Um, so I feel that it's once we're exposed to that, then we can really relate to them and then we'll see a lot of the things that we do go through in them. So in relating, we feel kindness because of course we don't want a, a fellow human being to go through something that's not pleasant or to go through things alone. And so I feel like yeah. once we're able to relate in that level, we can be kinder. When it comes to contentness, I feel like that really is gratitude because being gra like grateful for something it's the biggest uh, enemy of negativity because when we're grateful we see all the things we do have where negativity is saying all the things we don't have all the things we lack all the things we should have but don't whereas gratitude says I'm so thankful to have this I'm so thankful to have that I'm so thankful to have my family to have a roof over my head to have food on my plate and so and I, I feel like when we see things through that perspective Contentness comes much easier when we're grateful. <laughs> Yay, thank you for the response. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much, Katrina. Thank you, Maxwell. Bye. 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 Thank you. Hola, Kat. Mi nombre es Andrea de México. I have a question for you. Here it goes. What is the attribute that you value the most in yourself and one that you've been working on for a long time? I think an attribute that I value most about myself, I feel like I'm a very value-driven person. Um, I feel like my mom is very much the same. And what does that mean to me? It means that when I stand for something or I believe in something, like I won't really sway in how I feel easily. I'm quite stubborn in what I believe in. 
and when I see something wrong or I see something that's not according to my value I'm very much compelled to do something about it um, and I feel like that's really helped guide me during everything that's happened in my life um, because a lot of things come in and, and try to distract me or even the, the, the snap of going from being a contestant to a Miss Universe and, and being flung into that global arena. There was a lot of things that really tug you to and throw. So um, it's really my values that help be a compass for me. And something that I always want to work on um, would definitely be not trying to be so hard on myself. I'm a, a perfectionist. So I really hold myself to high standard and everything I do to high standard and sometimes I fail to see the, the, the largeness of what I've achieved because for me it's like okay I've done that what's the next thing where I hardly really um, enjoy what I've done or what I've achieved or what I've earned so mm -hmm. that's something I'm working on. <laughs> I love that because sometimes it can be really hard right? because there's like, pressure from other people or what you want people to think about you mm -hmm. but holding on to your values i think is most important because that's your identity exactly right. you're exactly right and it allows you to be authentic talking to you thank you for your Likewise. time guys take care so <laughs> dear patriona my name is yokin so Home, and i come from the line of smile bangkok thailand Oh my god! Hello! Hello, Kat! <laughs> so, will you come here to Bangkok when the, when the day opening the wax? I hope so. I would not want to miss it because I want to go to Thailand whenever I can. It's one of my favorite places in Asia and I don't just say that because I won there. Like even before, I think I've already been six, five, six times. Oh, right, really? <laughs> yes, I love your food and your people are yes. so, so nice and sweet and respectable and your culture is just gorgeous. Thank you, Kalika. Thank you, Kalika. Carolyn, you look so nice. Cambodia. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Cambodia. Uh, my question is, how do you stay motivated and inspired in the face of adversity? You know, it is really difficult at this time because I like a lot of people, I try to stay informed and watch the news to know what's going on. Um, but a lot of times it can be very heavy, it can be very discouraging. I sometimes feel very hopeless. Um, but something that's really been helping me is helping in any way, small way that I can. So I've been doing charity drives, fundraisers, and I find that not only helps me deal with the current situation it helps me take away my hopelessness but also it inspires me too because i see the other people who are doing the same thing or i hear the stories of the families or the individual or the frontliners and it just gives me a lot of hope and i feel like just setting your eyes on the right thing you can have the choice to focus on the negative or you can have a choice to focus on the positive and the hopeful and so i've just been focusing on the latter and it's been helping me a lot and that's really how i'm able to stay inspired and to stay with high spirit and i hope that you're staying safe there in Cambodia. thank you, thank you. Bonjour and hello Catriona. my name is arlene i'm from canada hi Catriona. oh my goodness <laughs> Hi, how are you? All the way from Canada. What time is it there? It's 1.35 a.m. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, it's totally worth it. This is like a once in a lifetime thing. And my question for you is, what was your favorite part of the process in regards to creating your wax figure and why? I think my favorite process was just observing how it's done because like I've been to a Madame Tussauds and when you see the wax figure you don't really take a lot of thought into exactly how it's done is it like photographs is it a video is it like they get out tape measurements or it, it's it's insanely detailed um, they use all these different types of equipment they have um, colorist specialists that like take paint and actually match your skin tone with paint on paper and they have all these different swatches of hair to get the exact color and tone even like a box of eyeballs <laughs> <laughs> that's fun <laughs> but they get out and like match to your iris and like the actual tone of your eye color and even the whites of your eyes same with teeth same with like it's it's incredibly detailed <laughs> 
So that was, I think, the, the coolest part about it, is just watching how it was all done. <laughs> I can't wait to like see the whole unveiling. I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to answer the questions and to provide such a unique and awesome experience. This is literally my dream. And I actually have you on my vision board, like right here. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. I love this That's so crazy. much. Girl, get your vision. I wish you all the best with your pursuit and pageantry. And I see a little bit of travel on that board. Whatever you're going for, I wish you all the best. Just keep going. Thank you so much. See you, Arlene. Stay safe. Bye. My name is Liz and I'm from Singapore. Nice to meet you. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I love your energy. <laughs> <laughs> and my question for you is, have you been to Singapore before and uh, where's your favorite place to go? I've actually never been to Singapore before, Liz. Oh, um, fine. It's okay. I've only stopped through through the airport, but I don't really feel like that counts. Um, but I really want to. I've had so many friends who have gone and um, who have spent a number of days there and have come back with really good things to say about it. I would love to ask you, since you're from Singapore, when yes. I go for my first time, what are the things that I have to do? If you have heard about Orchard Singapore? Uh, yes. And there's like a few restaurants where you can go and see. it's really nice uh, food to get there as well. Yeah, bye-bye. Kim Pansapa, 16, Thailand. Sawadika Katriona, my Miss Universe. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you today. Oh, thank you. Um, when will you when will be your trip to Madame Tissa Bangkok? I hope yeah. that it's very soon. Originally, our timeline to launch my wax figure was around this time this year. Um, but of yeah. course, with everything that's happened, it's been pushed to 2021, so next year. And I hope that I could be there as soon as possible because I really do love Thailand. Thank, Thank you. you. My name is Jasper Dizon. G'day, Kat. I'm from Australia. G'day! All the way from Australia. <laughs> and my question for you, I know it's going to be impossible to think about because you are determined to be in this universe, but <laughs> if you were not a Miss Universe title holder, what would you have chosen instead for your career and why? Um, I would probably want to be in a position with either working with a non-governmental organization or be able to work with a charity group because I feel like that's the most fulfilling part of all the jobs that I've ever done even as a Miss Universe like I just really enjoy being a spokesperson I don't know what it is about it but I feel like it's also like volunteer work is what changed my life and led me to this path so I feel like even at that turning point of having volunteer work I would have pursued it even if pageantry wasn't open to me yeah yeah but it's also really funny because when i graduated from school in australia i was about to enroll into a dual bachelor of science and journalism <laughs> oh wow that is amazing thank you you too bye katrina bye hi cat i'm faiza brunei in december 2019 you you announced that um you are writing a book titled mm -hmm. conquering your universe so um, yeah. When will it be released? I'm hoping that it'll be released in the next couple of months because I'm actually still writing it. I'm being a little bit of a perfectionist with it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, because it means so much to me because I really value um, being able to have the voice that I have. And so yeah. I want to be something that really will contribute. And also it feels very special because I mean when you're it's your book that sits on a shelf and it could be passed down you know so I really care about it so much and I'm just trying for it to be the best it can be <laughs> but um, no, definitely well. keep, keep tuned with my social media it'll have all the announcements there also um will you be doing a book tour you know what I would love to there's nothing that is scheduled just because of everything that's happening but I really would love to because I would even love to do readings where I could read snippets to people on the book tours and and even give the opportunity for people to ask questions because it is a lot about my life and the things I've learned so of course I would love to, to be able to talk about it and, and even um, expand upon things that I've said so hopefully hopefully I'll be able to come around to Brunei or somewhere in that region that would be amazing oh. It would be amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much. Take care. Take care also. Thank you. Bye. Gio Santos. Philippines. As you mentioned uh, on your video reel at Miss Universe, the longest journey starts with a simple step. Mm -hmm. I actually applied what your father mentioned. So shout out to your dad. <laughs> oh, thank you. And how did it how did it all turn out? Honestly, I was inspired to just follow my dreams because I've been wanting to move to the Philippines like three years ago. Now, after the quarantine, the next question would be yeah. which part of the Philippines or which part of the world do you see yourself going to? Philippines definitely need to go to the beach, so I would love to go to Palawan. Oh, I've, I've never been yet. Oh, you need to go. Beautiful. Like, I rave about it everywhere I go because I just feel like we have the best beaches in the world. But also, the mountain provinces like Sagada and Batad, I think, are very, very beautiful. Um, anywhere in the world, I would love to go to Hawaii because I oh. love Hawaii. Oh. And to visit my parents in Australia, so I really look forward to spending some time with them soon. All right, take care. Love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I'm Singy from Singapore. Hi. Hi. My question is: I know you've been to many of the shots before, um, mm -hmm. and so what's your favorite memory of your visit? Ooh, so I went to Madame Tussauds for my first time when I was around 13 years old, and it was in London. And I, my favorite memory, and I have pictures of it, is when I had photos with like Christina Aguilera and like Britney Spears. Because at that age, I really loved those artists. Oh, that's great. I mean, I'm really excited to really take a photo with your wax figure as well. Yes, I'm so excited also. My wax figure will be doing something like the lava walk, which is my walk from Miss Universe. So hopefully you can lava walk next to her. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you also, Singy. I hope you're doing well there in Singapore. <laughs> all right, thank you. So there you had it, everyone. I had so much fun connecting with you all, answering all of your questions. And I know that we're all excited, including myself, to see my twin or my wax figure with Madame Tussauds. It's currently postponed, but will be launching in the year of 2021, which is next year. And she will be touring around Singapore, Hong Kong, and Bangkok, and also here in the Philippines. So stay tuned to the appropriate social media Madame Tussauds of Bangkok, Hong Kong and Singapore to keep updated on all the news regarding my wax figure and also any other news too. Thank you so much everyone for joining our Q&A and I'll see you all soon at Madame Tussauds! <laughs> <laughs>